I'm a board certified dermatologist and in this video I'm going to show you a pro technique for using benzoyl peroxide to clear your acne with minimal irritation. Now, I'm going to be using a 2.5% micronized benzoyl peroxide. The micronized just means that the size of the benzoyl peroxide is really small so it can better localize down within the pore where it needs to be. Benzoyl peroxide works to clear existing breakouts and prevent future breakouts by targeting the acne causing bacteria that reside within the pore, benzoyl peroxide is also anti-inflammatory. First things first, you want to start with a clean face. I'm going to use a mild cleanser. You don't want to use a cleanser that's too harsh. And I'm going to wash my face in cool to lukewarm water, not overly hot. That's key. After you rinse the cleanser off, you want to make sure to pat dry the face. The reason this is important is that if there's water left behind on the skin, it can make the benzoyl peroxide more irritating. To a clean, dry face, we're next going to come in with the benzoyl peroxide gel. All you need is a pearl-sized amount. You don't need a big glob. You just need enough to create a thin film on the face. To my face, I'm going to spread a thin film of the benzoyl peroxide on my forehead, across my nose, my cheeks, my jawline. I'm going to make sure and not get it near the eyelids or the corners of the mouth or around the mouth. Too irritating in these areas. When I'm rubbing it in, I like to spread it across the nose and out across the cheeks, up over the chin, the sides of the face, and then up on the forehead and out. This minimizes the chances that I accidentally push it down into my eyes or around the corners of my mouth. As soon as you have a thin film on the face, you're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. While the timer's going, we're gonna chat about why the heck we're doing this in the first place. What am I even doing? What I'm doing here is called short contact therapy. As soon as that timer goes off, you're gonna see me rinse the benzoyl peroxide off of my face. And you may be wondering, why are you doing that? Are you supposed to leave it on as you go throughout your day? If you've ever used benzoyl peroxide, you know it can be very drying and very irritating. Many people do not tolerate it. You can get the benefits of benzoyl peroxide just by doing a short contact therapy for 15 minutes. Similar to how you might do one of your favorite skincare masks, the advantage of doing short contact therapy is that you get the benefits of benzoyl peroxide to help fight acne at the source within the pores to clear existing breakouts and prevent breakouts in the future, but with less irritation. If you aren't aware, benzoyl peroxide, if it rubs off on fabrics like this dark shirt, it will bleach them. And so if you leave it on as you can and you go throughout your day, inevitably you're gonna rub your shirt up against your face and it might transfer there and bleach fabrics. This minimizes the chances that you ruin your clothing. Many other acne treatments, whether it be prescription retinoid like tretinoin or over-the-counter salicylic acid, they too can be pretty drying. So you may be using some of those other treatments, which likewise can be drying. By doing the short contact approach with benzoyl peroxide, you minimize the overall amount of dryness that you get. Ultimately, that's going to help you better tolerate these effective treatments and help get you better results in terms of clearing up your acne and preventing breakouts in the future. Don't get it twisted though, benzoyl peroxide is a pretty powerful anti-acne ingredient. Not only can it help clear up existing breakouts and prevent breakouts in the future with ongoing continued use, but if you've been prescribed a topical antibiotic like clindamycin or erythromycin, or if you have been prescribed an antibiotic pill that you're supposed to take by mouth, like doxycycline or minocycline, Using benzoyl peroxide on your skin can help minimize the risk that the bacteria on your skin will develop resistance to the antibiotic that you have been prescribed, and that is a good thing. When should you do this short contact therapy approach? You can do it in the evening or in the morning, whichever is most convenient for you in your schedule. If you read the instructions, it doesn't tell you anything about washing it off. That's because this particular product can technically be left on the skin and you can go throughout your day. However, as we kind of got to in the beginning of the video, that can be pretty irritating. How does doing the short contact therapy compare to just leaving this on your skin? and going about the rest of your day. It may take longer to start working. If you're new to benzoyl peroxide, you might wanna try the short contact therapy approach at first, at least in the beginning, for the first couple of days, and then try it working your way up to a longer contact, and then eventually see if you can tolerate wearing it 
all day. Okay, my timer just went off, so now I'm going to rinse this off of my face. You don't need to come in with cleanser again a second time. This should come off with just cool to lukewarm water. Again, don't go in with super hot water. That further worsens any potential dryness that you may experience. Okay, now that I've rinsed the benzoyl peroxide off my face, I'm going to pat dry the skin, but I'm gonna leave it a touch bit damp. This step is really important for getting the best results, honestly, and that is to come in with a moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I'm using. Any facial moisturizer should be just fine. Pick the one that you like. Don't perseverate and fear and worry about the ingredients, if they're gonna be pore clogging or not. Just choose a facial moisturizer. They should not have comedogenic ingredients in them. I mean, think about it. It's not in the brand's best interest to make a facial moisturizer with comedogenic ingredients. That being said, everyone's skin is a little different um, in terms of what you tolerate. The reason it's important to come in with a moisturizer is that the moisturizer helps to keep the skin barrier happy. If you have acne, you may have been misled into thinking that you need to dry out your skin. At least that's what we were told back in the 80s and 90s, uh, that we should dry out our skin if we had acne. That was the common thinking, but turns out that's not a good thing. You wanna keep your skin moisturized because when the moisture barrier is happy, it can keep the skin hydrated and that ultimately minimizes the risk of irritation and ultimately can help the acne clear up faster and help you tolerate things like benzoyl peroxide or retinoids or salicylic acid, which are irritating. It can help you tolerate those better. So put the moisturizer on after you have rinsed the skin. And if you put it on while the skin is still a bit damp, the moisturizer, it works a little bit better. Now, if you're gonna be doing this as part of your morning routine, I suggest patting the, dry, the skin dry completely and then applying a moisturizing sunscreen on over because that's important for everyone to be doing, wear, be wearing sunscreen. It's especially important with acne because sun, UV rays, slow down the healing of acne. They increase the risk that your acne will heal with a dark mark, especially if you have a deeper skin tone. And it also will uh, put you at greater risk for scarring. So it's important to protect your skin from the sun. It's important for everybody. Not to mention sun protection can help prevent premature skin aging, and it can also help prevent skin cancer when used in conjunction with other sun protective behaviors. That's short contact therapy. It can be effective, may take a little bit longer to work, but it's a lot less irritating. And if it's less irritating, then you're more likely to be able to stick with it. It's more likely ultimately to actually be effective for you. Ingredients, products, treatments, they don't work unless you use them, unless you're able to tolerate using them. So you can use this as a starting point for introducing benzoyl peroxide into your routine as well. You may eventually be able to work up to wearing it all day or all night uh, if you choose to apply it at nighttime. How often should you do the short contact therapy? It can be done daily as tolerated. If you, if you start out doing it daily and it's too irritating, then back down to every other day. But if you start doing it daily and it's working out for you and you're not getting overly dry or irritated, too much redness, too much peeling, then consider trying to wear it all day or all night if you are applying it at nighttime. And if you are able to tolerate it all day, all night, try doing that on a daily basis. See how you tolerate it. You can tweak based on your needs the duration of contact. I put 15 minutes, that's a good amount of time, but you can tweak that. You could do it longer. You could leave it on for an hour if you tolerate it or maybe less five minutes, seven minutes, gradually increase the amount of time, gradually increase to using it overnight or throughout the day. That's the other thing I really like about short contact therapy is that you can adjust the duration and tweak it for your individual needs. If you're super sensitive, you can tweak it, tweak it, go down in frequency or shorten the duration of contact time. Maybe you have acne spots that are really thick and because this has to penetrate those, maybe you're just not getting there and you're tolerating it, but you're not getting results. Well, you can bump up to using it all day or all night, using it daily, 
This can technically be used more than once a day. And a lot of people do tolerate it that way just fine. And the short contact therapy can be used to treat acne on other body sites, your chest, your back. Again, that's gonna be a great because if you use benzoyl peroxide to those areas, leave it on and then put your clothing on, it's probably gonna bleach them. All right, you guys, if you've been struggling with introducing benzoyl peroxide or ever getting it to work for you, you've never been able to get over the hurdle of the dryness and irritation, I really hope the tips in this video and this approach of short contact therapy really helped you out. Leave your questions in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. On the end slate, I'm going to put one of my videos answering the most frequently asked questions about benzoyl peroxide versus salicylic acid. So check that out. But if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.